This could be your home, a couch, a dining room, and in the kitchen, a pan has been left on the stove. What these experts are doing is something you should never do, throwing water on a grease fire. In this exclusive video, you can see how quickly the fire spreads, filling the room with smoke, but this is all in the name of teaching. They have to go in, determine the origin and cause of fires that we set. At Scarlet Oaks, firefighters from around the region learned how to sift through the evidence to find the origin of fires. We are doing our advanced fire investigator class, doing everything we can to figure out how the fire was caused and caused the death will be determined. In each sample scenario, someone has died. It raises the stakes for everything from preserving the scene. Don't cross the line, please. We're hoping to get an interview. To deciding what information to release. We're investigating the origin and cause on this fire, so that is what will be here. We'll be here for a while, uh, and I'll try to keep you updated. As a crime, arson presents special challenges because the efforts to put out the fire can destroy evidence. It means investigators are putting together a puzzle. Depending on the damage that is done, it's a, it's a 250 piece puzzle or a, it's a 5,000 piece puzzle that somebody dropped on the floor and you have to pick it up. Fitting it together correctly has high stakes. You have to get that right. It's better to let a person go with a possible, you know, the involvement versus locking somebody up that didn't do it. What happens out here in the field is only part of the challenge as well. They also have to put their skills to the test in a mock cross-examination, replicating what it might be like to testify at a trial about their findings. Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5.